Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Chris Lettner. I'm a sales rep for V Technologies, and I appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to join us today to talk a little bit about Starship and our new cloud offering versus the uh, ship your product that you may be familiar with and currently using. I'm going to take you through a brief PowerPoint, talk a little bit at, at a high level about the, uh, the value proposition of Starship, what it can offer you, and then uh, take you into product demo. Today, we'll be taking a look at both the uh, Dynamics GP and our new Business Central integration. A little bit about VTech before we uh, dive into the product. Uh, the company's been around since the late 80s. Uh, we've been working with uh, uh, the Dynamics product pre-Microsoft, uh, going back to Great Plains DOS in the early 90s, and providing shipping integration uh, first with uh, parcel carriers. Uh, about uh, 12 years ago, we started adding uh, freight and LTL components to the software, and now we have a customer base of over 10,000 users. A little bit about Starship, uh, in case you weren't familiar with uh, some of the, the values that uh, we offer with the GP and VC integrations. Uh, I offer a plug-in interface similar to what you're using with uh, ShipGear. I uh, think of uh, Starship as uh, ShipGear on steroids, with uh, offerings for both small package and LTL carriers. Uh, that gives you the ability to automate uh, the shipping uh, with both your parcel and freight carriers for both GP and Business Central uh, to push back freight charges, tracking, and pro numbers, and other shipment detail back into the ERP tables. Uh, there's also some light fulfillment options available uh, with Starship uh, for GP. We have uh, the ability to change the quantities of uh, product on the Starship screen and update that on uh, the order. If you're short shipping, there's also a number of uh, warehouse management solutions that are available with uh, plugins to Starship, such as uh, High Jumps Collect for GP product or Panatrack. Uh, we can also create uh, invoices in the uh, Business Central integration as well by uh, flipping uh, orders over to uh, posted sales shipments and invoices verifying quantities on the invoice as well. Uh, you have the ability to quote uh, from the order entry screen with the ability to rate shop, um, where you can have a single view of all the carriers. We have a, a light version of the, uh, the rate quoting available to call from um, order entry. You also have the ability with uh, front office users that can log into the client just for rate quoting as well. Uh, Starship now gives you the ability to have uh, the flexibility of both installing locally on-premise, or we now have a cloud offering with uh, software as a service options as well. Uh, either integration is available with both, both platforms of Starship. And Starship also gives you some additional advanced functionality on the shipping side with the ability to integrate line items uh, coming out of the ERP. So with that, uh, that can help you automate any commodity-based shipping uh, with hazardous materials, dangerous goods, international, uh, drop shipments where you're shipping on behalf of uh, other customers or different business units, and also the ability to streamline your EDI process for sending out ASNs. Quick look here at uh, some of the various uh, carriers for parcel and LTL that we offer. If you uh, see some names here uh, that you uh, that you recognize, these are all available as options to add to your Starship license. Uh, there's also a number of uh, third-party logistics companies that we've partnered with, uh, FreightQuote and C.H. Robinson, also Worldwide Express. And recently, Starship also added the FreightView transportation management system option that expands the list of carriers and 3PLs uh, with a lot of other uh, logistics providers and regional carriers that are available up to about 80 different options. We've also uh, pushed into Canada, so the UPS and FedEx options now support Canadian origins. And you'll see some names here for some Canadian carriers that we're able to support through our Easy Post integration, uh, such as Canada Post, Cantar, and Purolator. Starship's also built out a number of uh, e-commerce integrations to be able to uh, do fulfillment on your shopping cart or marketplace. Uh, we started that with Amazon going back uh, probably about five years at this point and we continue to add to that list. Uh, so you'll see about a dozen different uh, e-commerce options available here. These are available as modules with the on-prem software, or if you go cloud, you'll have access to all of the e-commerce integrations uh, out of the box with the, uh, the cloud platform. 
And with that, we're going to jump out of the PowerPoint and take a look at Starship. Uh, this is a newer uh, web UI. This is available for both uh, on-prem and in the cloud, uh, both as a perpetual license, uh, similar to uh, running ship your locally on your network, or you also have the cloud version of Starship available as well. Same look and feel. Um, if you are uh, using the on-prem software currently, you can also run this uh, in parallel with the desktop version of Starship as well. Uh, similar to ship gear, instead of the keyed imports coming out of the Worldship software um, or in FedEx Ship Manager, you have the ability to select or scan a record here coming out of GP. So you put the document number in here, and that would uh, retrieve all of the transactions from GP. Uh, you can also search the list down below here. You can define what uh, fields from the header are available here in the view to sort on, similar to Excel. Or you have the ability to uh, narrow down the view to, say, a certain batch. Uh, you want to look at any of these fields in the order header, search for a particular customer ID, a date, a PO number. Maybe you want to do all of your UPS two-day shipments at one time. You can narrow it down by ship method. So this allows you to uh, kind of work with all the orders that are pending in the uh, in the view here. But uh, similar to ship gear, you can just enter or scan the order here. Starship will pull that out of GP and get you started on the shipping process. So let's go ahead and select a record and start that process here. Starship will connect over to GP, fill in all of the fields on the manifest uh, here on the user interface. So you don't have to do any double entry, bringing in all of that order header information into the Starship screen. Uh, here you have the order information. You have these widgets here that'll display the different uh, details similar to the tabs in Worldship or Ship Manager. It's got the return address. You can set up different profiles or we call them senders here in Starship where you have various entities that you do fulfillment on behalf of. If you have different business units, all of the uh, charges and um, uh, information associated to that business unit uh, can be displayed on the paperwork and make sure that all the charges go into the right bucket. Ship to address, we pull that from the order header or the line item level in GP. And with that, you'll see a green checkbox here indicates that we've validated the address. With that, we can check the city, state, and zip, zip plus four. If you want to add the postal formatting, the street address, the suite, the apartment number, also the zone, so we'll catch if it's a residential address and apply any of the surcharges. Ship method will translate here as well, so your carrier and service will read that from either the header or the line item level in GP. Collect your third-party billing as well. You can always change that on the fly, or you can do rate shopping in Starship. A little bit different than ship gear, you have your line items come over, so you can take items and marry that up to any of the commodity information, hazardous materials, um, if it's shipping freight, the uh, NMFC code, freight class, it's going overseas, any of the export documentation, Schedule B code to clear customs. You can also pack these into containers, so you can do a packing list. Starship has its own uh, packaging database where you can uh, record all of your items into containers. So you can pick those here from the drop down menu, or you can also enter in dimensions on the fly if you need to. Dimensions are stored with each of the boxes. So you can record the packaging type, the dimensions, and the actual weights. Uh, if you have weights and inventory, those will come over from GP, or you can. Um, you know, integrate with the scale. We'll see that detected here. Put the package on the scale, it'll read the weight in. Any of the hardware that you're using from the UPS or FedEx system will also be compatible with Starship. You'll see here the rates will reflect your, uh, your discount rates, whatever you've negotiated with the carrier. We can also retrieve the list price, and then we can apply any kind of handling fees. So similar to ship gear, you have a robust, robust set of uh, freight rules that can be applied if you want to add handling or discounts on top of the freight. So it looks like we have a 15% markup and then also a per box handling fee. We can apply both of these rates back into the sales transaction. So you'll see that back in GP. If we stick with, with uh, UPS ground, we can process the shipment here. You also have your controls here in the toolbar, or you can rate shop where Starship will go out to all the carriers that you have access to on your system and give you a list of options that you can then choose from. Looks like UPS still came out on top, but you can see there's other uh, potential services that can be selected, FedEx, Postal, DHL. 
So I should we'll automatically rate these here or rank them in the, uh, the order of uh, least expensive to most expensive. You can also sort here by transit time and the total number of days it'll take to get there. We can also map over a date and time when it needs to be there by, and we can filter out any of the services that won't make your transit time. We'll go ahead and stick with the UPS service that came over from GP. I'll process the shipment here. With that, that will manifest it with the selected carrier. We'll go and get our uh, barcoded shipping labels, produce the packing list, any other documents that need to go with the shipment, export documents, hazmat paperwork, bills of lading if it's going freight. Print all that out, feed the data back into uh, GP. We can also feed information to your EDI solution, upload uh, the details to your shopping cart or marketplace. And at this point, once everything is completed, cursor is going to come back over here waiting for you to select the next record. So let's take a look, quick look inside of GP at the results. Uh, so we'll update the same areas that uh, you have inside of ship here. You have the order header comments. Uh, we'll put some additional detail in here with the uh, item detail where, uh, wherever you've packed the items into boxes. Then if you don't want to pack items, you could also disable that, uh, but the items give you a lot of additional functionality. So you have a breakdown of the items and uh, which containers they were shipped in with the tracking, the piece count, the weight, when it's going to go out, when it's going to get there. And these notes can be modified to reflect as little or as much information as you'd like to see here. I will also update the tracking table on GP. So we'll put in a tracking number for each of the uh, records that we ship, each container. And then we'll also have uh, our cost plugged in here to a user defined field. So my exposure on the freight is the 47.38. With the markup, we're going to invoice the customer 68.74. We also have the batch ID as an option. Uh, you can flag that here. So I have a, a, a shipped batch that I move everything to. Let's the front office know that uh, we have the ability to go ahead and turn that into an invoice. It's got the freight, it's got the tracking and the details. Other options uh, or preferences that you can enable, actual ship date can be enabled. So we can write the actual ship date, ship date back here when it went out. Uh, Starship also can do some reverse value translations on the carrier and service. So if we switch the carrier, we can update that here. Uh, the actual ship to address, if we make any address corrections, we can plug that information back in here. Starship also has a SQL extension, which could open up other uh, potential options for um, GP extender tables. If you have other applications on the network that you want to integrate with to uh, move data back and forth with, uh, such as uh, sales pad, CRM, service databases, any basically any uh, database that we can get to on the network that opens up options to connect to via SQL. That's our GP integration. You can see very similar to what we do with Shipgear with just some additional options. I'm going to switch things over here to Business Central. You can take a look at the latest and greatest with uh, with BC here. Similar type of workflow with GP, uh, so you're working off of uh, sales transactions of uh, orders that have been posted and made available to ship against here inside of inside of Starship. So we'll connect over here. We're gonna to take you through an LTL order this time. Same uh, basic workflow for LTL. You're gonna select the transaction and based on the ship method or ship via code, uh, Starship will, you know, route it with the appropriate carrier, bring over the, uh, the carrier and service level. You can always change that here. And with freight, you have, um, you know, items that have uh, the ability to be packed onto um, pallets here. So you have, you know, items that go in boxes, boxes that go on pallets. We also have the new view here with the shipping assistant. This can be the first view that you come to as well. Once things are palletized and packed up, we can go ahead and rate shop. All right, so Starship, once we had our freight class set up here, Starship's gonna go out and pick all the various carriers that we have access to, give you a list here. Uh, came over as RNL, but you can see we could potentially have some savings here if we sent it with XPO or Roadrunner. We can make that decision here on the fly if we wanna override that or change it to you know, potentially another service here. Maybe we want to get it there faster. We'll leave it with RNL as that's what, what came over. 
uh, Starship will go out and get the uh, pro number, give you the ability to electronically tender the shipment and then print your bill of lading, process the shipment here. All right. And we'll take a look at our bills of lading in Starship. You have options here for the uh, straight bill of lading. You also have uh, the VIX bill of lading. And you can also get the uh, master BOL as well. Uh, these are all standard templates that are available in Starship. Uh, you have the ability to go through and um, print those out uh, for each of the carriers. You can also get uh, documents directly from the carrier. So with any of the web services for the carriers that we support, we can get both labels and bills of lading directly from the carrier. So you have your ability to pick and choose between the carrier formatted documents or any of the documents that are native to Starship. Same idea for all of your export docs. You have the ability to print out the commercial invoice, you have the US, Mexico, Canada agreement, if you're using a broker, Sherpa's letter of instruction. We also support uh, paperless uh, export documents for both UPS and FedEx. And there's uh, filing with ACE if you have uh, any products that are set up for um, uh, requiring an ITN number in order to clear customs. We have the hooks into the government website in order to do that. Take a look back here in Business Central at the results. Okay, as I mentioned, you can do both both posted sales shipments and invoices in Business Central. And we've added a widget into Business Central that will display all of the uh, additional information. We're going to update some of the native BC fields, uh, but we'll put details into the shipment. We'll add freight into the order as a line item. Uh, you'll have your uh, bill of lading number or your uh, pro number from the carrier here as the tracking. We'll put details into the shipment as well. So you can customize these details in the shipment the same as you can for parcel shipments. Um, you have these user defined fields here that you can add some additional data to um, into Starship and I'll take you into that setup where you can add additional fields. You can map extra data there with DC. And uh, within the Starship widget, you also have the link here that will take you right into our dashboard. And this will give you visibility to the tracking and um, any of the details uh, from the historical shipment in the Starship database. We'll have access to the records here, how we calculated the freight, how things were packed out, as well as all of the documents here that were produced. This is just a dummy shipment. If you had a live tracking number or pro number in here, uh, you'd see this view here. It'll tell you point by point where the shipment is at up into the point that it's delivered and signed by. And you can enable background tracking on any of the carriers uh, so you don't have to go in and track each individual shipment. That'll be available to any of your front office users through the dashboard as well. Let's come out of here. I'll take you into the Starship setup inside of Business Central. Here's where you can add any additional fields. So you can add an unlimited number of you know, custom or user-defined fields into the uh, Starship widget. And then we can map any additional data from Starship that we want to capture back in Business Central. So similar to the uh, extender tables in GP, this is just some native functionality that we've developed with Business Central with our integration. I take it into the set up here. And this would be the same for uh, GP as well. You can go in and define any user defined fields that you want to write back as well as um, the ability to uh, customize the notes. So here we have, you know, the fields that we can update at the header level as well as the line item level. And you'll have that, you know, in both BC and GP. 
And then under your settings, you have the uh, ability to have custom notes for both parcel and freight mode. So you have different types of information that can be written back. Here you can go into the drop down menus, and this is where you'll find all the Starship data. You can easily pick and choose between fields here. Any information you see on the Starship screen can be captured and sent back into the comments or notes. That's just a quick look at the write back capabilities uh, with both GP and Business Central. A couple other things I wanted to show you today while we have you. Uh, you have a, a new dashboard available with Starship. This will give you uh, visibility into your uh, shipping over a historical period. Um, you have a number of uh, basic analytics here that give you uh, some, some visibility to your freight spend over a period of time. You can kind of see trends in shipping, where products are going to. You have this heat map here as well. You have access to all the history here in Starship. Uh, so anybody in the front office can come into the dashboard and do lookups on the shipping, lookups on the freight um, without having to uh, pick up a user seat on your license, whether you go cloud or on-prem. You'll have dashboard user access as well. Pull up a transaction here. This will, again, will bring you into that same historical view with the tracking information, the ability to you know, reproduce any shipping documents that you need to resend an email, and then you can see the breakdown of how we arrived at the freight charges. So that's available to anybody in your front office. Uh, besides the dashboard, you also have the rate quote option. Uh, so the rate quote users can be set up on the actual client itself, you know, based on user permissions. Uh, you have two types of clients with the web version of Starship. You have the, you know, the full client or you have the rate quote version. So uh, you don't have the ability to tender a load or manifest any packages. You can just go in and do the rate shopping. So that's available to anybody in your front office area. We also have the, uh, the version inside of order entry as well. Uh, let's see. Or you can pull that up here. We use that eConnect in order to call that up inside of GP. And you can basically take all the order header information, the weights of the products, and that'll pop up inside a Starship window where you can then do some rate shopping. If you have the customer on the phone, you can give them an estimate of what the freight charges would be. Uh, Starship also has an API as well. So if you wanted to embed the uh, rate shopping inside of another application further upstream, you have the ability to do that as well. And Starship will you know, capture the freight and plug that in on the order as you go through and uh, enter your orders into GP. Uh, besides the uh, dashboard, you also have access to the uh, email notification. Starship gives you the ability to send emails through any of the, uh, the carrier uh, generated emails. You have Quantum View, Ship Alert from the carriers. But Starship has the ability to generate its own uh, custom emails, so you can have total control over the look and the feel of the of the email, and the ability to send that out on your own schedule through your own POP account or SMTP server. Uh, you have a email template designer here. We have a number of uh, templates that are built into Starship, but you have the ability to go in and modify the content of those here. You have access to all of your fields here, similar to the same printed forms, and that will. Uh, go ahead and uh, email out any of the uh, information that you're looking for. You can also include uh, attachments. So we, that could be a static file we pull from an external directory, like a catalog or a warranty piece of literature. Or one of the cool things that Starship can do is grab all of the shipping documents, PDF those, and those can be inserted. So if you want to send a copy of a uh, packing list, or a bill of lading, if it's going overseas, and if your export documents, all of those PDFs can automatically be attached to the emails, and those can be you know, both customer-facing or internal emails that you can set up. All right, we're just about at the uh, 2.30 mark. We'll go ahead and wrap up the demo for now. Yep, thanks, Megan.